Afternoon guys, hope you've had a good day. I'm going to go through the answers for the six questions that I set for you this morning. So question number one, 3,956 divided by 46. Now I've used the bus stop method and I've put 3,956 inside the bus stop and 46 on the outside. So first of all, I look to see how many 46s are in three. There are zero. I then look to see how many 46s are in 39. There are also zero. Now, how many 46s are in 395? This is where it gets tricky, so I need to use the partitioning method to work out my 46 times table, which I've done here on the right hand side. I can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 46s in 395 and I end up on 368 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 368 below the 395 and subtract it so as you can see that leaves me with 27 but then I need to drop down my 6 next to the 27 to make 276 so then I, I use my 46 times table, which I worked out here, to see how many 46s are in 276. I can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them, without a remainder. So I pop my 6 up here, and my answer would be 86. Okay, question 2, 3.81, add 0.009. Now, as you can see, I've got an extra digit here, so I need to put in my placeholder. The operation is add, so I'm going to add these two numbers together now, starting from the smallest digit. 0 plus 9 is 9, 1 plus 0 is 1, 8 plus 0 is 8. Make sure I drop the dot down, and 3 plus 0 is 3, so 3.819 is the answer. Question 3, 700 multiplied by 7. So what I've done to make it easier for myself, is I've got rid of the two zeros to make 7 multiplied by 7. I know the answer is 49. Then I need to remember to put on the two zeros at the end because you're not actually multiplying 7 by 7, you're multiplying 700, and 700 has two zeros at the end, which we need to, to put back onto our answer. And I simply get rid of those two zeros just to make it more manageable for myself and I can speed things up. Okay, multiplying two fractions. When we multiply two fractions, we start off by multiplying the two numerators together first, the top numbers. Three multiplied by one is three. And then we do the denominators. So five multiplied by eight is 40. So three over 40 is your answer. Six, 6.2 subtract 1.28. I've used the formal method. And as you can see again, I need to put in my placeholder. But this time, the operation is subtract, so I'm taking this bottom number away from the top number. So 0 take away 8, I can't do, because this number here is smaller than the bottom number. So I need to borrow from my next door, I need to exchange. So that 2 becomes a 1, and the 0 becomes a 10. Then 10 take away 8 is 2. 1 take away 2, well you can't do it because the top number is smaller than the bottom number so I need to exchange again so 6 becomes 5 and that 1 becomes 11 11 take away 2 is 9 drop the dot down and 5 subtract 1 is 4 so 4.92 is your answer and finally we are dividing a fraction by a whole amount so 3 over 10 divide by 5 the method we use is keep change flip so we keep the three tenths we change the division sign to a multiplication sign and then we flip five over one into one over five when we multiply fractions as i've just said before we multiply the numerator so three multiplied by one is three and then ten multiplied by five is fifty so three over fifty would be the answer for that particular question Okay, so here's a summary page with all the answers on. Pause here just to double check whether you got the right answer or not. Once you've unpaused, 
please comment below if you are stuck on any of the arithmetic skills and you want me to make a separate video um, to clear things up for you then please comment um, or if you simply just want to boast about your score please also do that as well um, well done guys and i'll see you tomorrow morning for another six arithmetic questions bye